Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ronnie and on this channel we cover a lot of skates, travel, and tech stuff. So if any of that interests you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be updated with any of these new cool videos. Speaking of new cool things, I have brand new electric skateboard in the mail. This is the WOW GO 3. Uh, yeah. So this electric skateboard actually came out a little while ago. It's not completely brand new. I just haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> but I am very interested in riding this because WowGo is a Chinese electric skateboard manufacturer who makes some really good stuff. The last board I tried was their original WowGo and it did not disappoint. I'm sure they've made leaps and bounds improvements with this new model. Let's just start things off with the unboxing. So this is what you can expect to find in a box when you order a WoWGo 3. Man, this is pretty beautiful right now, but more on that later. In the accessory department, you get some foam adhesive mounts for your enclosures. This stuff is really good for swapping things out and for waterproofing. Of course, you get a manual to learn how to use the dang thing. Super useful stuff for beginners. You get a little rear tail light. It blinks and uh, I'm not really the biggest fan of this thing, but it's Nice that they include it. Of course, a skate tool. Pretty important info. It's nice that they include that for those who want to start opening up their board and tinkering around with stuff. This right here is a wall hanger. That's kind of dope, actually. Mount this on the wall, hang the board up after a long day's work. Cool stuff. And that includes the wall anchors. You get some extra polyurethane for the rear hub motors. This urethane feels really, really good. Oh man, they really did make a lot of improvements from the last one. Of course, a charger and the remote. Now this remote has a really nice matte black finish to it. It's really soft and it feels actually kind of thinner than any of the other remotes I've tried before. Fits really nice in the hand. Just take a look at this beauty right here. This new bamboo deck is supposed to be extra flexy while still being very strong. We're definitely gonna test that out later. It comes with 90 millimeter wheels in the front in this sort of normal finish. Interestingly enough, the hub motors on the back come with a stone ground finish. The deck is made out of bamboo and fiberglass, which should make for a really flexy, comfortable ride. The board comes with upgraded 90 millimeter wheels at a 78A durometer, and it comes stock with genuine Paris trucks, which if you're into longboarding at all, you would know that these are like the best trucks ever for general longboarding, cruising, carving. I've been using Paris trucks for a really, really long time and I, they're good, okay? It's powered by Samsung 30Q batteries and uses a new Hobbywing ESC, which I know a lot of people in the DIY e-skate community are huge fans of. And with all that, you also get turbo mode, which means you're gonna be accelerating up to 24 miles per hour faster than the fast speed mode, faster than fast, yeah, I am done talking about this. This board is just way too beautiful not to ride. So let's go ahead and charge it up and go out for a test ride. All right, so here I've got the WOW GO 3 and the first thing that I wanna do with this board is to test out the flex because they said that this bamboo composite that they use for the deck is incredibly flexible yet super durable. Hope I don't break it. I think I'm bottoming out. I'm hitting the ground with it. That is super flexy. Yeah, that's some like boosted level flex right there. All right, so I've got the WOW GO 3 on speed mode two. We're just gonna skip speed mode one because that's just not really how I roll. Let's just hop on, test it out. Ooh, that's speed mode two? <laughs> My first time stepping on this, I probably should have checked out the trucks to make sure they were optimal for carving and riding, but Man, this is actually pretty good. Oh, excuse me, coming through. Man, right away, you can definitely feel the difference in these Paris trucks. These Paris trucks are amazing. I've always loved Paris trucks, and I'm so happy that someone's finally like incorporating their boards with them. You don't have to buy them separate and put them on, because Paris trucks are something else. I can't believe this is only speed mode too. It's a nice, nice little cruising speed. Decent brakes, they're really smooth. Uh -oh. <laughs> See, 
see this sidewalk has bumps on it, but because I'm sort of standing in the middle of the deck where it flexes, it's not too bad. On really stiff boards when I ride there, you can really feel it after a while. But this one, because of the flexiness, it sort of absorbs the shock and the vibrations. I've heard a lot of people say that this board is fun and I can definitely see why. Uh-oh. All right, I think I'm ready for the third speed mode. Let's go ahead and try that out. Hopping on, speed mode three. Oh. oh! All right, let go of the trigger, but we are still here. Speed mode three definitely feels a tiny bit faster. Not by a lot, but it does feel faster. Definitely no speed wobbles or anything, and I didn't make any adjustments to the truck, so they are, they do come out of the box pretty good, but it's always a, it's always a good idea to double check them. I don't know, I, I think the third speed mode accelerates pretty quick, but there is turbo mode left, and that's supposed to be much quicker acceleration, but about the same top speed. I can't wait to test that out. Woo! See, normally I would not hit those at this speed because of the bumps, but with the flexiness of the deck, it's all right. Paris, you make some great trucks. These are <laughs> so carby and so fun, and super stable, even though I'm carving at this speed. A little bump. Gotta hit it with the early grab. Actually, I think I'm gonna turn around and do that again. You know, just cruising, chilling with a backpack. Oh, speed bump up here? Oh! Ah. In level three speed mode, I got 23.6 miles per hour, right under 24, which is the rated top speed. Now I'm gonna see if going into turbo mode will change that. This is my first time doing turbo mode. It's not really supposed to have an effect on the top speed, but acceleration's supposed to be just a bit more. All right, turbo mode. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, shift in the turbo. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, okay. Definitely noticeably torquier, that's for sure. Like, a lot torquier. I might even already be topped out in speed. I don't know, it doesn't feel fast. Maybe it's because it's so comfortable. Excuse me. It doesn't feel scary to like carve at this speed in turbo mode. Woo. Brakes are still all right in turbo mode. You don't really stop on a dime, but they're not bad. Yeah, definitely a much zippier acceleration on turbo mode. I'm excited to see the top speed. So during that speed test in turbo mode, there was a very, very small bump in top speed, just a third of a mile faster. We got 23.9 miles per hour and at 175-ish pounds with like 15 pounds of gear on me, I think that's pretty good. It's pretty much the rated speed of 24 miles per hour. You might even be able to go faster if you're lighter and you have a good road. So far, I am very impressed with what WowGo has done with the WoW GO 3, but I'm not surprised. They make really good stuff. It lives up to the top speed. Now I wanna see if it lives up to the top range. So we're gonna go ahead and just drain the battery on this board, absolutely kill it, and see how far we can go. I think I just found a secret path. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna go down here. Oh yeah, that looks fine. What's wrong with this? Nothing. Okay, super tight turn though. Super tight turn, yeah. In this scenario, I wish I would have had a kicktail so I could actually make that turn. Yeah, this is like a 90 degree turn. Actually, you know what, let's see. Yeah, it's not the most ideal. Sorry, I can't really make. <laughs> Jeez, how many of these turns are there? Ooh, definitely have not been here before. No one's around this corner. Woo. Ooh, hug that corner pretty tight. That was fun. Oh, yo. This might be my new favorite route. This is awesome. Yeah.
guys. I feel my remote vibrating. We haven't gone that far, but we've been going really, really fast this whole time. Ah, a bug hit me in the face. Ah. So I was able to get exactly 11 miles from the WoWGo 3, which is a few below the rated 12 to 14 miles. But I can't really knock them for that because pretty much 99% of the whole ride was ridden in turbo mode. I was literally blasting it at full speed going up and down hills the entire time. I'm actually a bit surprised that I was able to make it 11 miles. So if you're riding pretty conservatively, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to get more mileage out of it. When it comes to speed and range, I'm gonna have to give it a big thumbs up. But personally, personally, I would have loved to been able to go faster, maybe 26, 27, maybe 28, 30, who knows? But I think for most people, 24 miles per hour is plenty fast. In most scenarios, you would not need to go faster than that. I was really surprised how stable the board felt at high speeds. I was still able to carve pretty comfortably and the wheels were gripping those turns really, really nicely. I never felt like I was gonna slide out or anything like that. And the double barrel bushing trucks, what a word to say. <laughs> really had me locked in on the board. No wobbles whatsoever. Very, very stable. The Wild Go 3 is feeding me some really, really strong boosted board vibes here. From the super flexy deck shaped like a loaded Vanguard to the Paris V2 trucks in the front, AKA Carved City, and even the orange semi orangutan feeling wheels. I gotta say, if you're looking into a boosted board, but you're on a budget at about $600, this is a pretty good option for you. Overall, I am very excited with what WowGo has done here. They made a great board at a great price point. It has my approval. Anyways, guys, I want to know what you think of the WowGo 3. Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to be a part of the Stoked Squad. Till next time, guys. Stay stoked. I'm out. Peace.